Aries, welcome to your you versus them reading. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you hear these messages is when you are meant to. We're going to dive in. We're going to see how you are feeling towards your person and then how your person is feeling towards you at this time, okay? I do see this deck more as the feminine and this deck more as the masculine energy, but you can reverse the roles as necessary. Genders, any way you want to slice that cake, okay? Now, if you haven't checked out your sexual magic deep dive reading for the month of November, it is posted on my channel. Go check it out. It is juicy, okay? Um, also, if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. For anyone that is returning, I love you, love you, love you, love you. And um, yes, I'm open for personal readings. If you're interested, all of that information is in the description box down below. All right, let's get into it, okay, Aries? We're going to start with your energy. We're going to see how you're feeling towards your person, and then we're going to move into how they are feeling towards you at this time, okay? So, Aries, let's get into this. Spirit, please show me clearly how is Aries feeling towards their person, the person most heavily on their mind in the month? of November okay please show me clearly this is a timeless reading but I mean I am filming this in November so let's get this please show me clearly spirit my pup is chewing on her toy in the background so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin her party so I'm sorry if you guys can hear it but Two more, please, Spirit. How is Aries feeling towards the person most heavily on their mind at this time? All right. Bottom of the deck. We've got the Fool. Okay, Aries. This could be someone new that you're dealing with, all right? Or you could be desiring a new beginning with this person. This could be somebody from the past that's coming back around or you hope will come back around or that you want to start anew with here, okay? But this is really exciting energy. This is um, really youthful, energetic, playful energy, okay? I see you wanting to go towards something and I feel like you're at the edge of the cliff, literally about to jump. I'm feeling this very excited energy. I feel like this is something that you really want and you've thought about it for a long time and you're freaking going for it, okay? You're seeing this person like the prize and you're going to get it, all right? Let's check out the rest of the energy here. So we've got the King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles, we've got the Ten of Swords, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So right off the bat, Aries, I am feeling like you want commitment with somebody. I feel, I'm feel i feeling like a false start here. Honestly, I'm feeling this energy where you wanted something with someone, but it didn't exactly work out the way you wanted. Um, it's almost like maybe you were giving a little bit more to the situation than the other person was. Or it could even be vice versa, but I feel like um, I feel like there was a false start. I feel like you were trying to get this connection off the ground and it didn't really go. For others of you, I am feeling like maybe you were in a committed connection with this person and then it ended. Okay, and now you want a new beginning. I feel like you guys, I feel like you've come in contact with somebody again. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm really feeling like you've come in contact with somebody from your past, like I said, somebody you had a false start with. It could have even been like a sexual connection and then um, you wanted a relationship and it didn't go through. It's going to be different for all of you, but I am feeling an energy of this is someone that you already know. This is someone that you've either been with and it ended or you tried to be with and it didn't really get off the ground, okay? There was an unequal give and take with this Six of Pentacles, all right? But I do see that you are desiring commitment with this person. Um, but you feel like this person is holding back from you, okay, at this time. Um, and I feel like you're trying to like open them up, open them up. You could be trying to talk to them, okay? This person could even be sad about something. If this was somebody who was in another connection, um, and you're interested in moving towards them, they could have just ended a different connection and they're not really opening up to you. 
all right, but you'd like a new beginning with them, okay? So take it how it resonates is what I'm seeing here. But I do see that you want commitment with this person. You do want a new beginning with this person. Um, and it does feel like, um, I feel a sense of hope coming from you here is what I'm getting here. I'm feeling a, a, a very real sense of hope. Especially if something between you two had ended before. So either this person has gotten out of a different relationship and you'd like to start a new relationship with them, okay? Or um, or you've gotten out of a relationship with this person in the past and then you want to restart. Or it was a false start. It didn't quite get off the ground of commitment is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's see how they're feeling towards you at this time, okay, Aries? Let's get their energy towards you. And that will paint a clearer picture for me, <laughs> okay? So let's get into this. Spirit, please show me. The person most heavily on Aries' mind. How is this person feeling towards Aries at this time? Please show me clearly. How is this person feeling towards Aries? Look at this, King of Wands. One more, please, Spirit. Okay, we got two more. So, bottom of the deck, we have we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So, you have the Fool, and this person has the Fool. So, I can see already that the both of you want a new beginning here with each other. This is how this person's feeling towards you. We have the world card. We have the king of wands. We've got the punishment. Okay, so there, there was a pause here for sure. We've got the king of pentacles. You also have the king of pentacles in your earth towards this person. And we have the three of swords. This person has feelings for you. The, sorry, the three of wands, not the three of swords. This person has feelings for you. This, ha this person has a lot of passionate feelings for you, but there is a stagnant energy that is lingering here with the punishment card. So the punishment card... Um, in this particular deck is like an erotic, I mean, this is an erotic deck. This is erotic tarot. Um, but this is pretty much Pisces energy and it represents the hangman in, to sum it up. Okay. Um, I do feel like there is a pause here though. Like uh, there could have been a pause between you. Like I said, there could have been a false start, didn't get off the ground, but this person is definitely seeing commitment here with you with the king of pentacles. This person definitely has feelings for you with the three of wands. They feel very attracted to you sexually, physically. Okay. They have a lot of passion for you with the world card. This means that this person thinks you has it, you have it all. Okay. There could also be a pause because you may be at a distance between each other with the world card okay um but it's wild that you both have the fool crowning your energies here that is just wild okay i want to i want to clarify this hangman though uh, underneath that fool card is the six of pentacles six of pentacles is also in your energy i'm feeling confusion in this connection like i'm almost feeling like you both are, <laughs> it's like you guys are both misunderstanding each other for, in, for some, like in some way here. Let me clarify this punishment or the hangman rather. I'm just going to refer to it as that. Show me the punishment card. The punishment card is associated with Neptune. So it can also be fantasy, illusion. Um, it's, it's, it's a dreamy type energy. So, so what I'm feeling here, so clarifying that punishment card, we've got the queen of air. And then at the bottom of the deck, we've got the three of pentacles. This person feels like you don't want to work with them. Okay. If I were to sum, sum it up, this person feels like you may not be interested in them or you don't want a new beginning with them. That's kind of why they pulled back their energy here. Um, but I feel like it's an illusion type of energy. Like it, it almost has like an undertone of the moon, this punishment card. Okay. With that, with that Neptune energy, I feel like this person feels like you're being queen of swords. So like you're kind of disinterested or maybe you're being cold. Um, I don't feel like you're actually rejecting them flat out because I can see that you're interested in them. Okay. But you... 
I feel like you may be a little on guard because this person is being standoffish because you can see you have the four of sword sorry the four of pentacles in your energy towards them so you feel like this person's holding you back okay you feel like this person doesn't want this all right but you want a new beginning with this person i feel like you just want to go for it look underneath that fool is the high priestess i feel like your intuition is telling you to to make a move towards this regardless like there's a lot of excitement coming from you I feel like this person could have maybe um, messaged you out of the blue, but they, I still feel like they were kind of vague about their message. Like they didn't exactly um, say, oh, I want to be with you. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they're still kind of hiding their feelings because you have that energy towards them. Like you feel like they're holding back from you. So this person is interested in you, but I feel like they may not be expressing themselves properly here. Can I get another one on that Queen of Swords? Yeah, see the Eight of Swords. This person, this person feels like you are, okay, look at this, bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. So this person is kind of holding back because they feel like you're not necessarily interested. They're not, they're kind of, they have Eight of Swords in their energy. So this can be about restriction, not seeing things. Um, I feel like this is like, again, more illusion energy with this seven of cups, like more fantasy energy. So either this person feels like you have other options and you're not really interested in them and that's why they're holding back or, or, um, this person is just like too much in their head. This person is overthinking things, um, making up stories kind of energy, like feeling like you're not interested in them when you actually are. Okay, so I feel like this person is kind of throwing out like a little bit of bait, like maybe they're giving you a worm, you bite back, you get hopeful, you want to go towards this with the fool, um, but they're just not giving you enough, okay? So it like you're kind of getting um, put off by it is, is the energy that I'm getting. Spirit, please show me this person's, the person most heavily on Aries' mind, what is their next move towards Aries? I feel like this is just miscommunication, overthinking. I can look at this, Ace of Wands. This person's coming towards you for a new passionate beginning. This person, this person's definitely going to make a move on you. Bottom of the deck, look at this, the Knave of Fire, so the Page of Wands. This person's going to message you. This person's going to come out of insecurity and message you. I feel like with the fool card in both of your energies, I feel like you guys are both on the brink of just saying fuck it. Like, I feel like you both are going to be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to reach out to this person. And you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to this person. And then I feel like when you guys actually talk and clear the air, it's you guys are going to realize that you both are interested in each other. Okay. I feel like this person is going to message you. I feel like this person is not really willing to let you go. I can see that they have a very strong sexual attraction to you, okay? So, especially with that Ace of Wands being the next move, I feel like this person has a very strong sexual attraction to you. Um, again, this person feels like you have it all with the world card, okay? The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, the way you take care of yourself, your career, everything. Like, this person just thinks you have it all, and they... I feel like this person, but this person, they may feel like you are too good for them, okay, in some instances, for some of you, okay, for others of you, I'm just feeling like this person, they're just, they're, just, they're a little insecure, they just feel like you are not that interested in them, or that you have other options, or that, you know, um, you're being standoff towards them, okay, especially if... If, especially if you're throwing up a guard because you think that they are breadcrumbing you, okay? Because that could be why you have all this mixed energy towards them because maybe they're only giving you a little bit and you feel like there should be more because, again, four of pentacles, you feel like this person's holding, you, holding back, not giving you enough here with that six of pentacles, okay? So an imbalance of energy um, is what I'm feeling here, okay? 
So I'm going to pull you guys in a, a Moonology card, all right? If you're liking this, please hit that like button, subscribe, check out your sexual magic deep dive for November. Um, again, I am open for personal readings. If you want to dive deeper into a personal situation, all of that information is down below in the description box, okay? So let's get you a Moonology in regards to the situation because it feels like a miscommunication. Look what flipped out. So we've got the end of a tough cycle approaches. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I've got Aries on energy, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, uh, Pisces, energy here as well. Uh, more Gemini, Capricorn, yeah. So you could be dealing with any of those signs or it could just be any sign in general. Take it how it resonates, okay? So we've got the end of a tough cycle approaches. I feel like there has been friction with trying to communicate with one, one another, figure out, look, it's time to take action. Look at this, Aries energy. I'm telling you, you're coming in or this person's coming in. Somebody's coming in, okay? You guys both have the fool crowning your energy. This is an amazing reading. Um, yes, I just, you know... I just feel like there's a there's a miscommunication between the two of you. I feel like you guys are both interested in each other, but it's like where there was stagnant energy or where there was miscommunication, I feel like there's going to be clarity coming through um, on both sides, okay? I feel like you guys both desire each other enough to make this move. Look, surrender to the divine. Oh, sorry. Big hands covering it. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, this is beautiful. I like I really like this. I really love this reading. I really love this energy for you. Um, I mean, if you're in, like, even if you're just arguing with this person, if you're in a connection, you guys could be even just something as simple as arguing, but like, it's going to come back together. Like, it just whatever this is, whatever stagnant energy or whatever friction or whatever miscommunication. This is temporary. This is going to get cleared up, okay? I Like, this is great. All right, so this is what I got for you. Um, thank you for watching. I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Love and light, guys.